let's get started by taking a look at our entities. So we have a user with an ID, a first name, last name, age, and a list of phones. And then let's take a look at the phone entity where we have an ID, the phone number, and the many to one relationship back to the user. Okay, now let's work with the query builder. So let's see how we can insert new records in the database using the query builder. First, let's work on an insert to insert a new user in the database. So this is connection dot create query builder. And now we need to add insert. And here we need to specify the target entity. So this will be the table where we are going to insert this new record. So this is into. And in this case, we're going to insert a new user. So this is user. This is the name of the entity class. And here we need to specify the values that we're going to insert. And here we can pass an array of users. So here we're going to have first name. Tone, last name, let's say though, and the age, let's say 26. And finally, we need to execute this sentence. So this is dot execute. Okay, now let's take a look at the database. So we don't have any tables in our type or run database. Okay, now let's run this and let's see how the tables are created, the user table and the phone table. And then let's see how this user record is inserted into the user table. So this is npm run start. Okay, and now let's take a look at the database. I'm going to refresh the tables. And here we have our two tables. The user table, this is the table for the user entity. And the phone table, this is the table for the phone entity. And let's take a look at the user table records. And as we can see here, we have the record that we inserted using the query builder here with the first name as shown, the last name Doe, and ID that is an auto-generated value, and the age that is 26. And I'm going to comment this out. And now I'm going to use the query builder to get the user from the database. This is const user. This is equals to connection dot create query builder. And we perform a select operation. So this is select. So this is pretty similar to the SQL select. So this is select from. And here we need to pass two things. We need to pass the entity class and an alias name. In this case, this will be user. OK, and now we need to pass the condition. So this is where. And here we need to pass the parameter for this condition. So here we can use user.id equals to colon id. And this is the parameter that we need to pass here. So this is, we pass an object. And this is one. This is the only id that we have in the database. And then we can use dot get one. Is going to retrieve a single record from the database. Now I'm going to use the console log to show that user console log user from db and we pass the user just to show it on the screen. Okay, and here I forgot to add the await. This is a uh, promise. So I'm going to run this. This is npm run start. And as we can see here, we have user from DB and the user data. Okay, now I'm going to enable login just to see the SQL sentence performed by type ORM. So let's go to the ORM config file and let's set login as true. Now let's run this again. NPM run start. And here we can see that this query that we built using the query builder is translated by type ORM. 
using this SQL sentence here. Now let's use the Query Builder to insert a new phone in the database and attach that phone to the user. So we're going to add a new element to this collection. So this is a wait. Create Query Builder. This is insert. And this is into phone. And here we pass the array of values. So this is values. And we pass the array here. And the phone has a phone number. And we pass the value. Okay, and finally, we need to execute this SQL sentence. So this is execute. Okay, once we have that phone in the database, I'm going to attach that phone to the user. So this is await builder, And here we need to specify what is the relation where we're going to insert this new phone. And here we need to pass the target entity, that is user. And the name of the property of the relation. And that in this case is phones. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. And here I'm going to pass the user. So I'm going to remove the comment from here. I'm going to remove this. And here I need to pass what is the user that I'm going to use to attach the phone. So this is dot off. And this is user. So I'm going to add a new phone to this user. And here I need to specify the ID of the phone. So this is add. And here I'm going to pass an object. The ID of the phone. So for this ID one. Okay, and finally I'm going to run a query where I'm going to show in the user and the phones. It's const users equals to await this is connection dot create query builder. This is select user from user. Here I need to pass the class the alias it's user in this case and here we're going to do a left join with the phone table so it's left join select we need to pass user dot phones this is the property of the one-to-many relation and an alias and in this case this will be phones okay and this will be get many just to get all the existing users from the database. Okay, and I'm going to add a console log. So this is users from TV. I'm going to pass the users. Show them in the console. Okay, now let's run this. So first, let's take a look at the database. And here, we don't have any records in the phone table. We only have the user already created with id one okay let's run this npm run start and as we can see here we have the users from the database basically we have one user and we can see the phones that are attached to that user that is a single phone okay and if we take a look at the phone table we're going to see that we have the phone number that we set here when we inserted the phone record here and this is the foreign key to the user id that is the only user that we have in the database 